People of Arab descent are prominent across the political spectrum around the globe. The same goes for Latin Americans. You may have no idea that there are many Latin American leaders with Arab origin. Number 1. Salvador Nasrallah Born to Palestinian parents, the vice president of Honduras is a famous Honduran television personality and a businessman. He founded his political party, the Anti-Corruption Party, and stood for elections in 2011 and 2013. Nasrallah ran as a president candidate in the 2017 Honduran general election. Despite winning, the electoral court overturned the results, causing widespread unrest. Throughout his political career, he openly criticized the Honduran government pinpointing corruption. His efforts finally bore fruit when he assumed office as the first vice president in 2022. Number 2. Georgi Jamil Mahuad, an Ecuadorian lawyer and politician. He served as the 41st president of Ecuador from 1998 to 2000. Jamil's ancestry is Lebanese and German. He initiated his political career through mayoral elections before getting elected as the president of Ecuador in 1998. During his presidency, Mahuad implemented economic policies aimed at stabilizing the country's currency and reducing inflation. There was widespread opposition and protests as the lower class struggled. Later, Mahuad was removed from office in a popular uprising. 3. Mario Abdo Benitez Another Arab origin leader is a Paraguayan politician of the Colorado party named Mario. Mario's father is of Lebanese ancestry. He assumed the president office by winning the 2018 elections and became one of the youngest presidents of Paraguay at age 46. In 2018, he canceled the transfer of the Paraguayan embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. This resulted in the closure of its embassy in Paraguay. He also broke diplomatic relations with Venezuela. Relaciones diplomáticas con la República Bolivariana de Venezuela. Abdo's economic policies, however, seemed to favor large landowners only. The deteriorating economy created unrest and criticism. There was a widespread use of the phrase Marito is a disaster. Or, Carlos Roberto Facas, a Honduran businessman and politician, he became the president of Honduras in 1998. His father, a journalist, Oscar Flores Midens, was of Palestinian descent. Facas actively managed his family business, the newspaper La Tribuna. He joined politics as a member of the Liberal Party. Carlos won the 1997 general election and assumed the presidential office of Honduras from 1998 to 2002. During his presidency, Honduras faced the worst natural disaster, Hurricane Mitch. It resulted in thousands of deaths and also collapsed the national economy. The president was quick to gather financial aid, utilizing them effectively. Flores also instituted the Ministry of Public Security to combat crime by breaking strong gang holds, which proved to be unsuccessful. 5. Michel Temer, a Brazilian lawyer and politician a integridade e a independência do Brasil. Became the president of Brazil in 2016. He assumed the presidency through the impeachment of President Dilma Rousseff. Who knew that a son of Catholic Lebanese immigrant would become the president of Brazil? During his presidency, Temer implemented economic reforms to stabilize the economy. The reforms, however, met great criticism resulting in a general strike by the trade union. Despite a low approval ratings, Temer didn't step down, but he didn't participate in the 2018 Brazilian general election. 6. Nayib Bukel is a politician and businessman who later assumed the presidential office of El Salvador. Nayib Bukel has a paternal Palestinian origin. His grandparents arrived in El Salvador from Bethlehem. After being successful in many mayoral elections, he formed his political group, Nuevas Ideas, and ran for presidential elections. He won them by 53% of the vote. During his presidency, his efforts to counter strong gang holds and to reduce the crime rate proved to be successful. 7. 
Abdullah Bukaram, an Ecuadorian athlete and politician. He assumed the presidential office of Ecuador. Bukaram was the son of Lebanese immigrants. He joined politics and founded the leftist Ecuadorian Roldosis Party. Abdullah's presidential campaign promising social welfare and good housing proved to be a success. He successfully won the hearts of the poor majority through his unconventional style and his attacks on the wealthy business establishments. However, his popularity fell owing to criticism for linking Sucre to the U.S. dollar. Ecuador's National Congress voted to remove him, but he fled to Panama. 8. Tarek al Assaimi. This Venezuelan politician assumed the office of the vice president in 2017. His mother is Lebanese, while his father was a Druze immigrant from Syria. He began his political career as the head of a local Iraqi Ba'athist party in Venezuela. He currently serves as Minister of Industries and National Production, along with the Minister of Petroleum. During his active political career, he faced allegations of participating in corruption, having terrorist networks, money laundering, sanctions, and drug trafficking. 9. Julio Cesar Turbe Turbe became president in 1978. Belonging to a Lebanese descent, Turbe joined politics serving in the House of Representatives. Turbe also served as a minister, senator, and UN ambassador. Julio's presidential campaign proved to be successful in 1978, but the continuing unrest and guerrilla violence created many hurdles for him in running the country. In 1980, the Dominican Republic's embassy was seized by the rebels, which Turbe managed effectively. Despite efforts, he failed to counter his country's social unrest. 10. Said Wilbert Musa, a Belizean lawyer, he joined politics and ultimately served as Prime Minister of Belize for two consecutive terms. Musa played a vital role in negotiating independence and drafting the country's constitution. However, his reputation suffered from a flagging economy and allegations of corruption within his government. Musa, a Palestinian descent, was poor growing up in San Ignacio. He was appointed to the Senate and a series of other government posts. He ultimately became the head of the People's United Party, PUP, which led to his victory in national elections in 1998 and in 2003. 12. Carlos Menem, a politician and lawyer, he was the first Peronist serving as the president of Argentina. Being a son of Syrian immigrants of the Muslim faith, he converted to Roman Catholicism for his political agendas. Being a member of the Peronist movement, he was elected as a governor of La Rioja. He assumed the presidency during which the country met the worst economic crisis. To combat, he abandoned his party to establish a monetary policy that successfully stabilized the economy. 13. Antonio Saca Saca is a Salvadorian politician and businessman who served as the president of El Salvador from 2004 to 2009. His grandparents were Palestinian Catholics who moved to El Salvador from Bethlehem. He was elected as president in 2004, representing the Nationalist Republican Alliance Party. During his presidency, Saka implemented economic policies to reduce poverty and create jobs and sought to improve relations with other countries. Interesting, right? Let us know in the comments below what are your thoughts about these Latin American leaders of Arab origin.